welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to set up the single or dual cantilever clamp for DMA mode testing on the Aries G2 rheometer. Using the force rebalance transducer, the Aries G2 is a rotational rheometer capable of performing linear dynamic mechanical analysis. The cantilever clamp can be used to study viscoelastic properties of a solid rectangular specimen in bending mode. Typical tests with this configuration include amplitude sweeps to determine the linear viscoelastic region, time sweeps to determine stability, frequency sweeps to determine viscoelastic properties, and temperature ramp or sweeps to determine thermal transitions, measure modulus, and collect TTS data for master curve generation. When mounted on the Aries G2, the cantilever clamp is used in tandem with the forced convection oven for temperature control. The cantilever bending clamp kit includes a set of hex keys, the upper and lower fixtures, one alignment two, and the 30 millimeter and 38 millimeter size frames. From TRIO software, select single or dual cantilever from the geometry drop-down menu then proceed to the clamp calibration. If this geometry file has not been previously created, then select Add New Geometry. Choose Clamped Bending from the list. Then click on Next. Choose the type of clamp you want to use, for example, dual cantilever. Then simply click on Next in the next few pages. Since we will be entering sample dimensions and performing clamp calibrations after the file is created. At the end, click on Finish to create this geometry file. Then, TRIOS will automatically lead you to proceed for the clamp calibration. The cantilever clamp calibration includes three steps two mass, alignment position, and two expansion. The third step, two thermal expansion calibration, is optional. To perform the two mass calibration, first, remove fixture from the upper shaft. Tear the transducer. Once complete, mount the upper fixture to the shaft. Measure the mass of the upper tool. Click on Commit to complete the two mass calibration. Insert the 38 mm size frame to the lower fixture. Mount the fixture to the bottom stage. Place the alignment tool onto the bottom clamp frame. Carefully lower the upper geometry until the upper tool is inserted into the center slot of the alignment tool. Use TRIO software to read the alignment position through the geometry calibration. Once finished, raise the instrument head and remove the alignment tool. You can now use the Move to Alignment Position button on the motor control panel at any time to return the geometry to the alignment position. This guarantees the geometries are always aligned with one another during testing. Use a caliper to measure the sample width and thickness. Select and mount the appropriate frame size for the measurement. Enter the sample dimension into the geometry file in TRIOS. The sample length is determined from the span of the bottom frame minus the width of the center clamp. A single cantilever simply uses half of the dual cantilever clamp frame. To ensure an accurate bending test, the sample length to thickness ratio needs to be equals to or greater than 10 to 1. Insert the sample to the upper clamp. Tighten the screws. Slowly lower the upper clamp until the sample is in full contact with the bottom clamp frame. Then, put the clamp face on and tighten the screws. Typical cantilever bending tests include oscillation amplitude sweep to determine the linear viscoelastic region, frequency sweep for viscoelastic characterization, time sweep to determine stability, or temperature ramp or sweep to measure thermal transitions and modulus as a function of temperature. 
In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated the setup and use of the single or dual cantilever clamp for performing dynamic mechanical analysis using the Aries G2 rheometer. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.